Being tough means that you can withstand whatever comes your way. You're resilient, you're strong. You can endure hardship and pain, whatever life throws your way. If you're tough, you can handle it. When it comes to being tough, there are a few different types of toughness. Number one is emotional and mental toughness. You need to be strong in your mind because bad things are gonna happen to all of us. And if you're not strong, this is when a lot of times people go into like a deep dark hole and they have a tough time getting out. If you are strong emotionally and mentally, you can handle pretty much anything that life throws your way. The second thing is physical toughness. You need to look physically tough because if you don't, then you're going to get owned by life. But the good news is that there are some tricks, there are some things that we can do in order to enhance our physical toughness, starting with number one. Wearing shades is one of the quickest and easiest things you can do in order to look a little bit tougher. It makes you look dark. It makes you look mysterious. And when people can't see your eyes or a little little bit more leery about coming and messing with you because they're like, yo, he might be crazy. Bringing us to the second way that you're going to look a little bit tougher is look people in the eye, right? Don't avoid eye contact because when you avoid eye contact, this lets everybody else know that you are submissive, that you're weak. You are a victim. Bang, bang, bang. Look people in the eye and people will not think you are a puss. Number three, beards. Big, bold, beautiful beards. I think of every single dude you know that wears a beard. Would you mess with them? The answer is absolutely not. He looks confident. He looks put together. He looks like he could whoop some ass. Number four is the color black or gray or dark mysterious colors like black because there's a direct correlation in my opinion on people that wear black looking a little bit tougher than people that wear light pink if there's anything wrong with pink i love pink i love light blue i love all of the colors the problem is that toughness theoretically speaking black dark gray definitely tougher colors than light pink in my opinion right and that is why you're always gonna see me wearing like gray jeans black shirt black boots black leather jacket the reason is because I am not a physically imposing dude Five foot six 150 pounds of twisted steel and sex appeal and I am definitely not what somebody would consider an imposing person right but I look tough as because I wear all black. I also wear number five, a badass watch. Some watches make you look tougher than others. If it's real small and minimal, I would say that that watch doesn't make you look as tough as something that is a little bit more robust and has a little bit more wrist presence like this sexy piece from today's video sponsor, Vincero. Vincero makes super tough, badass looking watches. They're incredibly sexy, they're stylish, they're also priced affordably. My absolute, hands down, favorite watch in the history of Vincero is this blacked out chronograph by Vincero is one of the toughest, sexiest looking watches I've ever seen. Matte black case, black leather strap, it's just beautiful, badass, and sexy. And the thing that I love so much about Vincero watches is that they're not like super Super minimal. Now, I love minimal watches. I think they're sexy too, but I think in terms of you looking a little bit tougher, it definitely helps if you've got a watch with a little bit of presence, a little bit of attitude. This is my collection of Vincero watches, and I absolutely love them for different reasons. Um, the one that I'm wearing, the matte black one, is my favorite, but a close second is this one. White face chronograph, rose gold markers, brown leather strap, and the silver case. This matte black one, right, a little bit more minimal, but it still is a nice size. It's got the mesh strap. It's just a beautiful, sexy watch. Guys, if you haven't checked out Vincero lately, they are killing it in terms of new sexy designs. There's a page down below that is a curated collection. I have gone through and actually like chosen Vincero watches that I think are the sexiest. You guys are going to absolutely love them. Also a discount code. If you guys hit that link and go and find a watch that you love, make sure to enter that code so you can grab an already super affordable watch at an incredible price. Vincero is killing it. The watches are beautiful. They're sexy. I love the styling and they just make me feel good and confident when I'm wearing them. Guys, it's critical. Regardless of if you rock a Vincero, a Rolex, a Time Timex, it doesn't matter. You gotta wear a watch because it lets everybody else know not to f with you. The sixth thing that makes you look tough is boots. Boots, baby, boots. Boots are an incredible way to automatically enhance your confidence, make you a little bit taller if you're a shorty like me. Boots are amazing. They also just give the subliminal message that you're tough, that you don't take crap, and that you can kick the crap, kick the crap of somebody. Exactly, you could stomp them. Ah, but you don't. 
You don't. There's no need. Because you look tough. And when you look tough, people don't want to mess with you. Besides, you are a lover, not a fighter. Number seven. Spin jumps! <laughs> Psych, it's not spin jumps, it's leather jackets. But if you bust out spin jumps like just randomly in public, people will definitely not mess with you because they think you look crazy. You look crazy! Sexy, I say. Gentlemen, something else that makes you look super sexy and tough is a great leather jacket. In my opinion, there's nothing that makes you look more like a badass and a sexy stylish ninja like a great leather jacket. Number eight is a firm. Bang! Handshake, baby! It's all about that firm handshake, right? It's not something visual, but it's something physical. You feel it. And when you shake somebody's hand, whether or not you're shaking a spicy senorita's hand, your mother, your grandmother, or your weird ass Uncle Barry's hand, you got to make sure you have a firm handshake. There is nothing that says tough. Nothing that says I'm going to take it. The ninth thing that makes you look tough is a chiseled pecs. <laughs> Not just chiseled pecs. Working out, guys. If you can develop a body that looks aesthetically like you are in shape, that you take care of yourself, this automatically makes you look tougher. Having a body or physique that looks like you work out in clothes and out of clothes is one of the things that automatically people think you're tougher. Something else that happens is your hand gets a little bit calloused. And when you've got calluses on your hand, this is something also, in my opinion, that makes you look a little tougher than dudes with smooth smooth, soft, baby, supple skin hands. And last, but certainly not least, the 10th thing that makes you look super freaking tough is being yourself. One of the hardest things that we are faced with as men, as humans, is dropping the shit, right? You don't need to act a certain way in order to be perceived as something that you're not. If you are able to feel comfortable in your own skin, you're able to be and do you, as they say, this is one of the sexiest, toughest things that you can possibly do. Be yourself, be confident, be amazing because you are beautiful.